This is learning we're going to explain how to upload your logo to the statements and invoices. Make sure you log in as the administrator and from the main screen, top menu, click on tools and options. As soon as you reach the main tab, which is for general information, click on the button for branch properties. This is the place where you're going to see multi-branches if you have more than one practice using Wise Option. Most likely it's going to be just one line. Highlight the branch, particular branch you want to set up the logo and click on the edit button. This is going to give you the chance to put details like phone number and address as well as the chance to set up statement and invoices for that particular branch. The first tab you see is for images, where you can browse and upload the image. Click on the Browse button and grab the logo from the position you have saved the file in your folders. If you cannot find your local folder, Please watch the lesson where we are explaining how to create the bridge between your local computer and the Wise Option Cloud Server. Under Getting Started, Getting Started chapter, there is lessons. There are lessons there you will find for setting up connections with extended resources and creating the bridge between your local computer and Wise Options Cloud Server. That should allow you to transfer your files to the cloud server where you can then browse and successfully link the image to your statement. Now that you have the image uploaded, you can change the positions by considering the X position. X is the top and Y is the left. <clears throat> so you can by small increments, maybe 10 by 10 or 12 by 20, try small increments in these numbers and save. So the image is going to move in this box accordingly. Often, users will try to upload images that are really heavy, high uh, kilobytes, even megabyte size images, which will decrease performance. So try to stay with the small, concise image sizes. If necessary, use one of the Windows or Mac applications to resize the image. And in a, also resolution that is, you know, efficient enough for a quick printout. So our suggestion would be for you to be for sure under 600 kilobytes, even less and in a size that is concise with what you will need to show. Once you have that done, you can also use the preview button here to take a look in a fake invoice or statement how it's going to look like. After doing that and saving your properties, you may now close everything, go back to your main screen, and from there go to any customer account and preview and print customer statements invoices with InWise option already with your logo in place. So today we've learned how to set up custom logos for statements and invoice InWise option. Thanks for watching.